Hello. It's 5.35 p.m. Well, um, that over-the-phone job interview was like two or three minutes long. It wasn't long at all. But, um, <clears throat> so, I was able to catch up you know, from this past Friday. So I'm caught up for this week in the motel. And I calculated that um, I only have enough to be able to afford to stay here one more week. <clears throat> and then on Friday, February 11th. Like, I mean, well, the day after tomorrow, I get my social security check and then nothing seems promising or quick enough. If they're saying that there's a labor shortage and saying that they need people badly and stuff like that, but... <clears throat> They said there's a labor shortage and they need people badly. But then they'll make it like as if a job opportunity won't come until like at least two weeks or a month from now. And it's like, I need something now, like t today or tomorrow. So, <clears throat> um, It seems like that so-called high-paying constant work job opportunity. I'm hoping it's not out the question, but that's what it seems like now. You know, with that temp service job opportunity, that's not supposed to start until mo next month or so. But <clears throat> I even try to look up what are certain things that, you know, how could I, you know, I, I, I try to look for, for things to do or ways I could survive. And, uh, I mean, I have my blog and my ebooks and short stories and everything. And, but of course, y'all know that people deliberately deter anyone from supporting me. And then make it like as if I'm just a useless idle beggar. But it's the thing against me. But other people, you know, if you're popular and well-liked and fake, those are the ones who can make a living and get all the doggone support. So because the world hates me, because nobody wants to support me, then I can't be able to make a living off of writing and um, I'm being treated unfair and not acknowledged as an author or a writer <clears throat> and um, nothing I do or say is to be taken seriously and you know everybody wants to have me constant reminded of how hated I am so by February 11th, it, it looks like I'm going to end up being back on the streets, <clears throat> forced back on the streets by February 11th if I don't get another job opportunity fast enough. And so, um, so I realized I, I hate the, the idea that I can't really get that comfortable here. And the money donated to me, I spent the last of it, you, you know, I paid $215 of the money here. I mean, to stay here, I mean, and I really don't like being behind or owing anybody anything. 
I, I'm the type I usually prefer to be on time. I prefer to pay everything on time. I don't like owing anybody anything. I mean, I don't like to be in a predicament where I have to owe anybody anything. But, you know, I, I, I mean, I try to do what I know how to do. You know, dealing with my disability and everything like that. I, I do what I know how to do. And, um... <laughs> and so my day wasn't perfect but I believe that David Jane created a smack brand new um, YouTube account that was two minutes old and on a previous video he made a fake comment saying, saying that I'm fake you know in my video talking about me being emotionally hurt and stuff. I, I know that was him that did that. But it could have been another person. But I believe it was him. That made just a brand new. Um, a brand new. Fake false account. Just to you know try to bring me down. And try to ruin my day. And try to um, you know harass me. Or whatever. I guess the perps must not be getting enough action by me staying in here. So, but. I, I mean, I, now that it's dark, I'm kind of scared to um, walk outside and go. I mean, I don't like the food places around here, or it's not that a whole lot of food places around here, but, um, so now I have only $3.35 in the bank, but then the day after tomorrow is when I'll get the, um, the social security check, and as I said, I, the fact that I have to end up paying more here. Three hundred sixty-five dollars. Well, they said three twenty-five plus tax, three sixty-five. <clears throat> so I I can only afford to do one week. I can only afford to do one week with the Social Security check, and um. And and then I'm I mean I'm you know scared of ending up back on the streets again. But I got me something to eat, and um it seems like they gave me not of course not that much grits, and ha gave me the, with the cheese grits they gave me way more cheese than the grits. They put way more cheese than the grits on there and then fish on top of that. So, um, well, I got pictures of it, but, and it, it didn't even taste that good, but I wanted some seafood. I, I mean, I haven't had any fish or seafood in a while, but, um, you know, I just spent the money on uber ride mainly you know the majority of, like 215 dollars out of the 300 went to this motel room and then i'll say um about 40 dollars went towards Uber rides to that job interview and stuff, and then the rest went to food. Y you know, so, but then I had a, yeah, so, so I mean, it's still kind of early right now, but it's already dark. But, you know, I wouldn't want to be out 
that late, like past eight o'clock at least, but it's still scary around this area. Um, and I'm tired of Chinese food, or, or I'm tired of Asian food already. <clears throat> you know, I, I think, I mean, temporarily tired of it. I think I had Asian food, like, if not once, then I thought it was twice, but I guess it was once. I mean, I know I had it yesterday, but, um, <clears throat> but I don't know. It's the, it's the closest thing by and it's something I can use with cash and I heard that Domino's had the shortage of drivers and Jimmy John's doesn't deliver over here and um I mean I would have ordered like some chicken and pasta for dinner <clears throat> or something like that but um, Domino's supposedly has a driver shortage, so I don't want to be frustrated waiting for forever for food or whatever. But I, I don't know about in this area, but I know it's like a national shortage or whatever. But um, but you know, as I said, they have that little Asian market. But it's not like Publix or, um, it's not like Publix or Winn-Dixie or something like that. And I, I, I mean, I, I, the, um, Circle K that's nearby, they don't have, they, they don't have, um, really any grilled food or anything like that. Well, I mean, I went the other day and there was much of nothing. <clears throat> and so, um, this is not like the other motel I stayed in. Like, the other motel I stayed in, I was able to, um, walk across the street to Publix. And they had a whole bunch of, you know, a, a whole bunch of places you can eat in that one spot. But here... I mean, at Walgreens and CVS is n not that much of really, of course, you, you know, not really in, 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 you know, the gas station. They don't have really anything nutritious or healing, n nothing nutritious where you, where you can heal. So, um. I mean, I know I, I it's very, still pretty hard, you know, trying to alter, I mean, alter and modify my diet to eat a certain way because of my mouth and my teeth. And I mean, I couldn't get to eat the healthiest today, but I had, a, you know, I guess the fish was considered healthy. And I mean, well, the grits, fish and cheese for lunch, it wasn't, I guess it wasn't that unhealthy. But, um, the breakfast, I had some coconut water and some Asian, you know, like these Asian muffins and this little, this little, um, sticks with chocolate. I mean, it's like pretzel sticks with chocolate, but it wasn't that many of them. And um, for lunch, I also had, you know, along, along with the cheese grits and fish, I also had like some honey on my biscuit because my jelly or my jam, I couldn't get the jar open. So I'm trying to multitask working on I'm working on about five blog posts all at once, but <clears throat> one of them I've been working extensively on, and it's been taking me almost all afternoon to work on it. And also, I've been trying to look for more possible job opportunities, still nothing. So, 
I mean, other people, they get respected for their work. And um, if they provide a service and stuff like that. <clears throat> and then, I mean, if they play mu, if a homeless person plays music or if they, or if, you, if, um, if there's a homeless person and you drive in your car and the homeless person, they walk by and, um, spray and clean your car windows and then people pay them <clears throat> for that and they get respected th for that because at least they're, they're trying but, you know, with my writings and stuff, I'm dismissed as, you know, nobody, I, I don't, I deserve to be punished with not being acknowledged as a writer because I named the names of the perps and stuff, you know, but so they think I deserve to be punished with not being acknowledged at all for any of my writings. <clears throat> but, um... I've been releasing my emotions and feelings with um, journaling and it's been helping me feel a little bit better. But um, <clears throat> it's, uh, it, but I mean, it's like people want to make sure, I mean, that I'm blocked from any credit or any respect from my writings and think Candy is not a writer or they think it's bullshit oh you call this writing ha 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 <clears throat> but they make it like as if I don't deserve to be acknowledged as a writer <clears throat> but other targets can be acknowledged as an author and a writer and they figure that my Amazon ebooks and stuff or my blog is just nothing but a nothing but a joke the most laughable joke of the 21st century <clears throat> so um it's like they're trying to block me from getting any recognition from any of my writings or any support from any of my writings And, um, I mean, they won't allow me to make any, make a living off of what I know, the little bit that I do know how to do. Because, I mean, I don't have all that much of skills with anything. And, you know, people are cold hearted with wanting to force me to be punished on the streets. And, they have people who are way, I mean, way worse than me. And people who are repeat criminals who have harmed families and destroyed families. And they still get an upstanding rep reputation and given another chance in life. And get respect in life. I, and I've seen people go from homelessness, total destitution on the streets. And then they can somehow land a decent job and a car, a place to live and everything like that. But they won't tell you their secret on how, how do they get back on their feet. But I noticed that to, you know, to, to be able to get, you know, any, any success in life, you can't do it all by yourself. You need support from other people. Uh, you know, some people have had help and support to get where they are. But other people do it the dirty way and sell out, sell their soul and stuff like that. They sell out and sell their soul and the quick, easy, dirty way to success. And... um. It, it's very hard to deal with being psychologically, mentally, and emotionally smothered, you, you know, that they don't want me to fight to survive. And they don't want me to fight for survival. <clears throat> you, you know, so, I mean, I mean, I know I'm considered mentally disabled due to the 
abuse and foster care, the uh, abuse and experiment, experimentation with the foster care and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, but I thought I had more stuff to talk about or more stuff to say, but I guess not. But other than that, my day wasn't that, I mean, my day alone wasn't that bad. Um, I didn't have that bad of a day, but they had, I mean, whoever that was that came on my page and said fake and two question, I mean, two exclamation points, I blocked and reported that perp, that perp, online perp troll. And I felt like it kind of soured my day to get, you, you know, how they did me, with, how they did my food with the lunch. That you give me way more, twice as much more cheese than you do of the grits and then put fish on top. I mean, I felt like I knew I was cheated. So, I haven't decided, I mean, I don't know what to eat for dinner since John, Jimmy John's won't deliver over here and um, I don't have enough money in the bank for anything else I mean any I mean any other like delivery but so I have to settle for like Papa John's or something I don't know Papa John's or Domino's or, but I, I try to stay away from those kinds of foods. Um, but I know I gotta put something in my belly. And um, and tomorrow I don't know what I'll have for breakfast, but I really wanted to keep my two rolls of quarters for laundry, cause since it's hard to get quarters. But I might have to spend it on uh, food. I might have to spend it on food. Um, but I'm going to finish working on more just journaling and writing today. And um, I noticed that during the daytime, Ever since Friday, I stayed here, and during the daytime, my um, a full 26-minute video will upload in an hour and a half, and then at nighttime, the video would upload, and it would take longer than three hours to upload at nighttime, and um me trying to type on my phone i don't know all of a sudden i've been having like strain on my wrist and my arm i mean my hands and stuff like that um and and so i want to be able to get to be happier and experience more joy in life, but the perps are suppressed. They suppress that. The perps and narcs they suppress that. <clears throat> so um, it will. It seems like as if at this very second. The um, tooth abscess, it looks like it's trying to slowly but surely trying to come back. But earlier, like about an hour ago, my gums on where the abscess would be at, I mean, I feel a tiny bump now, but earlier it felt flat enough that there was nothing there. But it, it does seem like it's very much trying to heal. But I haven't been able to 
not since I moved in here, I haven't yet been able to um, try to do the treatment, the personal treatments with the coconut oil and um, bentonite clay. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, I, I mean, I'm just surviving, trying to survive day to day and you know, just like they suppress my YouTube videos and nobody wants to pay attention or support me. They suppress my ebooks because people are like, well, why don't you start a YouTube channel and get it monetized? Well, the perps, they suppress that opportunity. They suppress me trying to get my writing out there and most people ignore me. I get ignored, heavily ignored. So, um, I mean, I do put my, try to advertise my work out there and, you know, put my donation information, but, you know, it's not mandatory that you pay me anything or give me anything, you know, but I appreciate even if you just like to read it. So, um, but I mean, it's a voluntary, you know, choice of if you want to donate, if you like, you know, my short stories or whatever. So my time is running out and thanks for listening to me.